Hi, this is Dan Collins, Editor-in-Chief of Modern Traders Magazine, coming to you live from the Flora CME Group for Traders Exclusive. Very important day, or I should say tomorrow, it's, it's Tuesday, June 14th, the beginning of the Federal Reserve's FOMC meeting for June. Uh, and what I think is the most anticipated Fed meeting, because a couple weeks ago, uh, a lot of positive economic news had come out, and we got to a point where there was a, a strong expectation the Fed would tighten at this meeting. Since then, there's been a lot written about the worry about Brexit and that they can't tighten with, with that kind of hanging over their shoulders, hanging over their heads. And then we had the May unemployment, uh, the employment situation report that showed only 38,000 jobs growth. It was a shocker, though the overall unemployment rate went down to 4.7. Why is that interesting? Because at 5% and at 4.7%, several of the Fed governors said, this is what we call full employment. Well, full, full employment gets into an inflationary scenario and an area where you'd start tightening rates, not from zero or not from 37 and a half basis points where we are, but if you were at an equilibrium. So uh, I think that come tomorrow, there's a strong likelihood that the, the FOMC does act. Now the market has pretty much priced uh, rate increase out. The Fed funds futures for July uh, is stuck at 99.63, which is, is, is no movement. Um, there, there's a lot written saying they can't do it because of the unemployment report for May. But it begs the question, if they can't do it now, when can they do it? It, it seems like, you know, you, you, everything can line up for them to make a move and one thing can prevent it. Well, you know, first we have to realize that interest rates are between, the Fed funds rate is between a quarter and a half percent, historically low. It's been at zero since 2008. We've been in a supposed recovery since 2009. I think we all know that it's been a sluggish, halting recovery, but that's a long time for no uh, rate increases. Also, recent numbers have been showing an uptick in inflation. So, I, and the biggest point, I think, is they, they tightened initially in December. Now, when the Fed went, uh, did their tapering, uh, starting uh, two years before, and started removing the, the QE3, they, they stuck to their guns and did it, despite some, some movements and good numbers, bad numbers that people thought they might delay, they stood with it. The, the Fed has said, throughout that they're going to be very slow and gradual. They're at the edge of slow and gradual. They, they raised interest rates 25 basis points in December. Uh, it's the June meeting. So I think at six months, that's, the, that's the, the far end of gradual. If you can't do it in six months, then it's a policy shift. Then, it, then we're, we're in this, the, this no movement area. So that's, uh, that's why I think that the Fed will act tomorrow. You're gonna to see a lot of volatility in the market because a lot of people aren't expecting it. But it's gonna be an interesting day because I said, since we started this, this there's been more, I, I don't think there's ever been as wide an opinion as whether they will act or won't act. I think they will. This has been Dan Collins for Traders Exclusive.